What's going on everybody? Welcome to Charge It Up. For today's video, we're going to be taking the highway from Mississauga to Toronto on autopilot. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to be making a highway trip from Mississauga to Toronto. Let's make the lane change here. And we'll let autopilot do its thing. We'll go up to 125 just to gain a bit of speed here in the far left lane. We are currently on 403 eastbound in Mississauga. I am currently doing 125 kilometers per hour. And we will slow this down to 120 in a second once we get past this car here. We'll get into the middle lane. Let's go ahead and do that now. Nope. Oh, okay. I guess, no. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, autopilot continued to mess up over and over again because it thought the truck from the right hand lane was coming into the middle. So I guess the system was picking it up that it was coming into the middle lane, but it wasn't. So it did some nonsense back and forth, back and forth. So that was uh, unnecessary to say the least. This lane comes to an end, so we'll make the lane change here. Now we are on the 401 eastbound, still in Mississauga, and we'll let autopilot do its thing as we continue to our destination. Currently stuck between these cars right here, or these trucks, and now one behind me as well. I'm being sandwiched in! Alright, we're gonna change lanes here. Nicely done. All right, nicely done by autopilot there. Nobody coming on my left, so I will make the lane change here and then ask it to make the lane change one more time. And I will increase the speed to 120. I will then ask it to make the lane change another time to get away from the truck, obviously, and give him space. So, during traffic jams, I mean, it is a lot easier to do it with autopilot, so you don't have to constantly push on the accelerated pedal and take off and go to the brake and back and forth and it's just it just relieves a lot of stress about driving um, on a daily basis so that call here navigation says that we'll be there and to our destination in 21 minutes um for the most part I, I believe it it's actually pretty it's been pretty good knowing how how bad the traffic is and how and everything else so I will take over here and we'll make the lane change because this lane is coming to an end and we'll make sure that guy there lets me in because he initially didn't want to people are so nice sometimes not <laughs> Let me know there's a car ahead. I will make a lane change here. Make another lane change here. Press done. And then once this truck goes by here, I will get the system to make another lane change and we can speed up hopefully. We're doing 70 on the highway, which is ridiculous how slow that is. All right, so we're about to make a lane change here, but obviously there's nowhere to really go right now. So we will make the lane change once there is space. Actually, we'll do that now, considering that it looks like the truck moved over. So 
we'll have some space to make the right lane change there. Let's go ahead and go back into the lane. And then we'll get by the trucks and then we'll get to our lane changes. That's that's a lot better. Instead of having there we go. Go ahead and make a lane change now. So that's a lot better. It's it's so much better than being stuck behind those trucks. Make another lane change here. Nicely done. Let me know if there's an upcoming lane change. I will make the lane change now. Done. It looks like this car is going just as slow as the cube fan ahead, so let's just change lanes and get that done with. We're coming up to our off ramp here. The system knows this, it starts slowing down. I think it starts slowing down a little too early here. And still continue going. It's going to signal. There's the three signals, and then it'll stay in this lane and we'll make a left hand turn at the red light. We'll ask it to make the lane change here. Does not want to make the lane change. Let's ask it one more time. There we go. I possibly asked it to make the lane change a little too quickly, considering that the lane just appeared on the left hand side. I'll take over here as we're going to be making a left hand turn. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell for future videos about the Model X and the R6. Until the next one guys.